So the flowers I designed specifically to show one special angelic woman. So much about herself and how I see her. Should they have a fragrance, a heavenly fragrance? The heart that I would decide for always would be my throne. <clears throat> And my whole plan was to win her over with my usual way of doing things. I was gonna annoy her until she gave me a proper date. And long before the earth was created and I decided what she would look like and then hid her from myself so I could finish all this work for all these people and be so pleasantly and amazingly enthralled with what I saw, what I felt, what I heard, what I could not and still don't figure out sometimes. Basically what a woman is. So flowers. I mean, everything I release in my temple happens in your life. It symbolizes the celebration. <clears throat> Now the celebration will involve your kingdom spouse. And Yarasa, perfect pronunciation, Lord, thank you. Showed up, dressed to kill. <laughs> and they decided to show me mercy. She is that kind of queen. Um, <clears throat> we had so much fun. Eighty-seven percent of that was fun to me. The things I didn't like, we now know. The things I do not like, normal things a husband would not like. She had a spirit telling her, "Take off your wedding ring." And I was waking up every single day praying for her, making videos for her, interceding for her a lot. And I finally liked my wedding ring. I did not like this wedding ring at all. The spirit's laughing about it. A lot of things, beloveds, when I give it to you, you may not value it until you understand the full loving, amazing surprise and meaning it has between me and you. And there's always a story behind it, which is a testimony, which brings you influence on the platform I have planned for you. And we celebrated Hebrew style. <clears throat> and I said, why can't we do this as much as possible? Like, what's the point if we're not doing this? We got God, we got you and me, our love for people. We could take over the world. The world would give itself to us if it knew us, beloveds. So a lot of uh, my wife's standard thought process, not impressed, woman, which is my way of saying, uh, you know how long it took me to, no, 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 Jesus, no, the Jesus I know would be taking care of the kids, all of the kids, my standard. And a lot of things I do, I'm still the same. I have my, what fault did you find in me? Then I have my, you rebellious stiff neck people. And then I fight my way like I'm swimming to the surface. And I look around.
And I pray, is she right? And the Spirit, <laughs> you answer to me. Right, 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 right. All right, now do what she says. And that's been basically our way of showing her how much we love her. And I was trying to explain to her, unless I solidify my kingdom first, there's not going to be a kingdom. But, and the violent take it by force. And they tried. Which was the killer whale style of flipping us upside down. And nobody really understood what I was talking about. Someone saying, wait, wait, wait. What do you mean upside down? A lot of you were seeing things upside down. Because you were in a weird trance. And it only happened to um, those that either were not fully seeking my voice and obeying it, because then I would have helped you uh, avoid it. And for those of us that fought, we ultimately encountered it a lot. So we got to the point where <clears throat> my Redeemer lives. I spoke to him this morning. And he's telling me what you're telling me is not the truth. So it took a lot of trust in me. And that's one thing that is paramount in any marriage and now solidified in my own. Thank you, babe. I would not let her fall away. I would not lose her. And I chose her. So, in your celebration, you'll need finances that's taken care of. You'll need your spouse. And then a relationship with me that's so solid, Lord, this is what we do one-on-one -on -one in the spirit, <clears throat> but now I get to do it with my spouse. So a lot of my prodigals were locked in a religious mind state, while the ones I freed from that, because they walked with me so much, were not. And all of those attacks of why I allowed <clears throat> This um, straight stick, crooked stick display was because your choices, desires, options, paths were all known before the creation of mankind, beloveds. Now I'm keeping it simple for you. Designed to protect, secure, <clears throat> and continue to give you all of these things that you will not let be stolen from you. And the way you had to learn how to do that, the way, the way, the way, is God is sovereign. Beloveds. And knowing that, kept you in way more peace and way less fear than those that did not understand that. And many that did not understand that now understand that. I felt a lot of people out of their little trance and saying to me, now, Lord, I'm ready to do this. Now, Lord, okay, I trust you. Now, Lord, I understand my spouse a lot more. And I see how I may have not have uh, been the nicest. I may not have been as godly about things in your eyes, in my eyes, in my eyes as I could have been, I may have, you know, completely ignored you and didn't do what you were telling me to do. 
But now I see why. And this is going to help you in your marriages so much. Because believe me, when you're navigating situations and I already know what has happened and I'm pushing you like you can get there, you can do this and you're going to love it. And it's going to increase your love for me. I and the Father are one. A big thing has really been a burden to me is always saying the words that the Holy Spirit tells me to say. Because I know that conviction from the Holy Spirit, conviction from the Holy Spirit, conviction from the Holy Spirit keeps people out of so much tremendously avoidable moment filled despair ridden moods change your mood <clears throat> change your routine and you change your life how do you change your mood lord well, I always looked at it as, well, you can go to a building and they'll give you their way of doing it. Or you can come straight to me and develop the routine of expecting an answer. And then the obedience to that answer, if I give you an answer and you're doing it every single day, it's because I know how your day is about to go. Beloveds. And I'll usually, during the war, I'd warn all my people, especially when it got so unbelievably horrific that the fact that my church even exists displays my love for all of you. Because if you listened to my prophets, they were right. And a lot of times there were, uh, in a celebration, we keep things positive because there's no point in looking backwards and there's no point in dwelling on anything that's going to keep you from your joy and your peace. You can be happy for a moment. Very few are, but you can be. But learning how to always find your joy and your peace, that's a lifelong tool, beloved. So the things of heaven that I give to you aren't always pleasantly earned. They're not always suffering filled. They can be both. But removing the amount of suffering as quickly as possible, mentally and emotionally, starts with it in the spirit, beloved. So remaining connected to the vine. If anybody wants to know, it's kind of cool. <clears throat> it says, this too shall pass. It's been kind of... <laughs> Lessons I have learned copiously, my loves. <clears throat> Me and my baby, the love of my life, my love, know that one. But to be strong for our people and always stand tall, hold your head like a hero. And we've done that so much. <clears throat> now we can celebrate guilt-free because people will be able to reach other people that no one could reach in an effective manner, right where they're at, with testimonies, stories. And other people have had enough of that darkness they were walking in. They don't ever want to go back. And that was a huge part of this. So without further, this is my party shirt. <laughs>
<laughs> this is my robe of righteousness. This this is the only shirt that's acceptable that I have right now. But <laughs> I will get more. And that's my display of love. All right. I love you.